Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Shalom. I'm David Mensah, Israeli government spokesman. This is a special Sunday briefing for today, the 25th of August, 2024, regarding events in the north of Israel, southern uh, Lebanon. I'll provide a quick update on the situation and then take your questions. Very early this morning, Israel identified an imminent large-scale attack of missiles and drones by Hezbollah in Lebanon. Hezbollah, the Lebanese Shia Islamist Iranian proxy terror group, is based in Lebanon but is directed by Iran. Both Hezbollah and Iran seek the annihilation of our nation. With Hezbollah preparations to attack Israel underway, the Prime Minister, in consensus with the Defense Minister Gallant, together with the IDF Chief of Staff, quickly directed the IDF to initiate a preemptive action to eliminate the threat to Israel. Thousands of missiles and drones were primed to be launched against civilians in Israel this morning. Had these missiles and drones flown, the death toll would have been in the thousands with massive damage. At this hour, let me share with you the results. With minutes to spare, 100 Israeli Air Force fighter jets, our aerial defense systems, and Israeli Navy's ships, directed by the IDF, intelligence struck and destroyed thousands of Hezbollah rockets aimed at our towns, villages and cities across northern and central Israel. The rockets aimed at our families were primed for immediate launch this morning. More than 40 launch areas in Lebanon were struck during the strikes thousands of rockets were eliminated. In spite of our preemptive action, Hezbollah this morning fired more than 300 rockets and drones at Israel, which did cross into our borders. Now, the Prime Minister has made clear this morning that Israel does not seek an all-out war or a regional escalation. But Israel will do everything in our power to defend our country, we will return 62,000 residents to their homes in the north, and the Prime Minister has made clear, whoever harms us will be harmed, both defensively and offensively. The US Secretary of, uh, Secretary of Defense, Lloyd Austin, has been fully briefed. Israel expresses gratitude to the US for standing with Israel and with regional stability. So that's the end of this short briefing. I will now uh, take your questions, which you should put in the chat of this Zoom together with your news outlet. First question here is from uh, Jody Cohen, World is One News in India. Hezbollah has suggested they have com concluded their attacks on Israel today. Does Israel believe Hezbollah's fire will resume tomorrow, uh, and what is being done to deter the Houthis from their promised attack, as well as Iran's? Uh, thank you very much for that question, uh, Jody. Let me make this clear. Um, Israel is prepared for any threat, both defensively and offensively. We are determined to defend ourselves and to exact a very high price from any enemy who dares to attack us from any arena. Houthis, Hezbollah, Iran, whatsoever. We do not seek an escalation, but this country will be defended. It is our duty. It is the duty mandated by Israel's population. It is the duty of any government to defend itself, and that is precisely what we will do. Now. The Iranian axis of evil has formed a stranglehold against Israel. It's a ring of armed terror armies, 
Hezbollah in Lebanon, Hamas in Gaza, the Houthis in Yemen, and other militias as well. But we will exact a heavy price for aggressions against us from any arena. It is not our intention to escalate the situation, but we will defend ourselves. Our long arm will reach anyone who causes harm to our civilians. And the elimination of the commanders of the military wings of both Hamas and Hezbollah, the destruction of these rockets aimed to fire at our people imminently this morning, imminently, sends a very clear message to anyone that threatens this country. Now, in common with the Prime Minister and all Israelis, um, our, and all of our security services here, we remain on extremely high alert. The government expresses its, its appreciation and thanks to our allies for standing united with us in the face of these hate-filled threats uh, of this Iranian regime and its terrorist proxies. And of course, in particular, the government expresses its gratitude to President Biden and the American leadership for their steadfast commitment in words and deeds to the safety and security of our country. Now, much of the international community stands together to curb the dangerous ambitions of Iran, uh, which states its intentions very clearly to destroy this country, and they threaten both regional stability and the free world. Next question here is from um, Hannah Julian from the Jewish Press. Uh, the IDF has said that some rockets and drones managed to get through during this morning's attack. Can you share with us what damage was and whether anyone was hurt? Uh, thank you very much for that question, uh, Hannah. Uh, you can find the answers to those questions on the IDF um, Telegram feed where they can give uh, results of any casualties but I do not have any information of casualties uh, at the moment or indeed of, of uh, damage caused by uh, the 300 rockets and drones which did manage to get through Israel's preemptive strike. Uh, next question is from Agence France Presse from Roby Cori Boulet. Um, what was Hezbollah targeting and were any of those targets in Tel Aviv? Thank you for that question, uh, Robbie. Yes, we've made clear that uh, there were targets in central Israel. Uh, we've made uh, very clear. Uh, that was why um, uh, together we worked extremely hard to ensure that these uh, rockets and drones could not uh, get through. You know, we've had more than 8,000, 8,000 of these rockets, uh, more than 100 uh, drones coming to attack us. 43 of our people have been killed. There have been many fires, much environmental damage uh, caused uh, by this Hezbollah fire. Uh, Israel does not seek an escalation, but we will defend ourselves. United Nations resolutions are extremely clear, uh, crystal clear actually, on the actions of Lebanon, or the inactions rather, I should say, uh, because Lebanon and, and the Hezbollah terrorist, terrorist organization, which operates under the guidance of Iran, are responsible for this escalation of the security situation in our north. It's in violation of international law, of UN Security Council Resolutions 1559 and 1701. And as our foreign minister, Yisrael Katz, said just last week, he said that the Iranian proxy Hezbollah is leading Lebanon into darkness, both literally and figuratively. So while the people of Lebanon suffer through endless blackouts and a crumbling infrastructure, Hezbollah diverts their resources to ignite the region with violence and terror. These, uh, the Lebanese people, deserve a future of peace, and dignity and a Lebanon free from the grip of this terror. Now, Hezbollah very clearly endangers the Lebanese population. They use Lebanon's civilian infrastructure and its population as a human shield, placing rocket launchers, 
and weaponry inside their towns in very close proximity to their homes. Question here from Annabel Timsit from the Washington Post. Did Israel warn the United States before it struck uh, southern Lebanon and how and how long before the strikes uh, did it do so? Um, thank you for that question, Annabel. We're, work we're working uh, extremely closely with our US allies. I've made that clear in, their, in that uh, briefing. Uh, it is in US interests as well as Israeli interests to restore stability in this region. Uh, both our countries know and many other democracies understand that Iran is trying to destabilize this region. Uh, they're only after us as a stopgap. We're only the first step on their uh, journey to destroy uh, your countries, uh, US, UK, other countries in Europe. They despise democracies. They despise freedom. They despise uh, liberal democracies. Uh, they're going after us, but only on, a, on, on the way to get over to you uh, in the Western world. So we are working uh, side by side, united with our American allies. It's a partnership which is extremely important to this country. It's important uh, to the US as well, uh, because we share so many of the same values, but also the same enemies as well. Okay, so that, that seems to be the last question uh, here today. Uh, thank you for joining us. We'll be having another briefing tomorrow morning at um, uh, three, uh, tomorrow afternoon rather at 3.30. Uh, so in the meantime, please do stay safe. Thank you for joining us and goodbye.